episode, I'm joined by my good friends, Bob. Say hi, Bob. Hi. And Wade. Howdy, everyone. Yes. They are who I like to refer to as the losers from last week. And this week, as we do every week on the Distractable Podcast, we will be discussing topics of conversations and we will be having a bit of a battle of the minds, a test of will, an exchange of ideas. We can talk about what we want, and I, as the good and ordinary. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm going real good. Thanks for asking. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay, great, I'm, man. Uh... Man, this, this small talk always just. <laughs> Firing on all cylinders right away. Look, I'm good. I actually got a good night's sleep, but I was mm -hmm. woken rudely by a crazy ass blue jay banging his head on my window because apparently it's mating season and he is DTF mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the window mm -hmm. for some reason. I don't know. Well, the reflection probably saw. I also had a seagull and a crow having a rap battle on my balcony. I actually <laughs> have video of this. Um, I will post it somewhere at some point unless I don't, and then I didn't. Who won? Well, the crow ran away, so actually I, I can't answer that. The seagull won. And then the oh. seagull started doing something crazy. I also got this on video. Like, it started <laughs> opening its mouth. I thought it was yawning at first, but it kept doing it. Not lying. I'll show you guys the video. It just, like, opened, like, I thought it was going to throw up or something, but it did it for, like, a minute straight. Like, it was like as wide as it could at, opening? As mouth? wide as it could. It stuck its tongue out and everything. Was it making eye contact with you? Did he see you and just be like, ha, 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 this is my balcony, ha, ha, ha. I mean, <laughs> honestly, like I started recording, then I moved the, the shade out of the way and it looked at me and then just kept going at it. So I'm pretty <laughs> sure. It Did that bird play. thing where it snapped its head sideways and made one eye eye contact. Oh, yeah. It sounds like seagulls. <laughs> Wait, did you have any bird related morning issues? Well, I had to deal with something even crazier. My phone just kind of kept buzzing and buzzing. And it turns out. It's called a phone call. No, it was just my alarm. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was close. I set like six of them. Make sure I get up today. Not any better, man. But I love the assumption that he... <laughs> you're looking at your phone. There's a weird name. I look. Like, mm, oh, Greg. I know that name. Yeah, my phone. It kept showing a picture of my mom's face, <laughs> and it kept saying "mom" and just buzzing. And I was like, "Shut up, phone." God. I know that's my mom. Shut up. You don't know me. When did Apple put reminders in iOS of who your family is? I should never have put in family information in my contacts. I wish it was something that clever, but no, no, nothing, nothing crazy. I was up late and up early and that's it. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You were up early. What time is that in numbers? Just yeah, curious. Yeah. Uh, 10.55 a.m. God, God, how are you alive? Was, yeah, I got up at uh, 3.50 today. Oh. What time did you go to sleep? 8 p.m.? You went to sleep? P yes, p.m. Okay, I went to sleep wow. at 4.30 a.m. Wait, wait, why would you have assumed a.m.? Well, maybe you slept for like 20 hours. <laughs> why would you assume that I was asleep for 20 hours? <laughs> I went to sleep an hour and a half ago, and I woke up in six hours. Yeah, I've pulled that off before where I've been so tired that I slept for like a full day. All right, sure, man. Yeah, but that wasn't the case in this scenario. That's better than assuming you're 90 years old and you're going to bed at 8 p.m. I went to bed at 8 p.m., okay? All right, Grandpa. That is pretty early. Like, I'm not going to mock you for that, but that is... <sighs> that's Is that is that normal for you? You go to bed no, at 8 p.m.? No, no, it's, it's, it's not normal. I could go into the long spiel. It's just like when you're in solitude, there's this weird effect where you want to sleep more. I don't know what it is, but that's like a thing if you in the Mythbusters episodes where they did like the cabin fever experiments. They just slept a lot more because you're bored and you got nothing else to do. And as soon for me, as soon as six o'clock rolls around, that's when people stop calling me and I have to stop like doing anything. And so I just get tired. And... Anyway, that's not the point. Today's topic of conversation that these two beautiful gentlemen have prepared and that I will judge oh. them upon is the conversation of best friends and how to solidify a friendship from just friends to best of friends. You're not gonna make any if you're going to bed at 8 p.m., but yeah, let's do it. To be clear, when we discussed this previously, it's best friends for life, right? Yeah, for life. Okay. Has to extend. Now, I don't know if the idea have anything to do with changing how long those life is, but mm -hmm. I will accept and judge any idea on the merits solely of effectiveness 
of best frienditude and will it reach the end of life who would like to present their uh title of their me 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 thing first yeah, go okay. for it i don't go feel good it. about it so i'd rather get it out of the way before bob gives something great so you really need to stop underselling it before you say it. <laughs> and by that i mean mine is so good it's gonna blow everyone out of the <laughs> water and yeah. bob you'll yeah. never live up to the genius yeah. that's about to roll out of my mouth i'm excited all right. now yeah all right the title is you're gonna like me as your friend i guarantee it said just like that okay cool yeah yeah, I know this is an original sentence, definitely. Uh, by the way, everyone at home, just for just for legal sake, this is not real advice. Never take it. <laughs> I think that every time I say words, this is an original sentence. <laughs> I just thought of this. You know what would have been a better title is, this is not real advice, do not take it. Because I would have been very curious to hear what your idea was at that point. Well, uh, that's the subtitle. That's the, that's the colon apostrophe <laughs> underline book one damn man you, he's killing it but has so many iqs i don't stand a chance you got anything to beat that <sighs> all right the title of my pitch slash plan to get a best friend for life hmm. is uh you couldn't if you wanted to now that that's interesting okay that opens up a lot of doors am i the friend in this situation are you still in the friend for me that's a lot of captivating energy eh, i give it a out of 10. <laughs> Well, it's not up to you. I actually did like that title. It intrigues me. It titillates me. What if it's a completely 100% empty clickbait title just to win the title battle so I get to go first? Well, then I will assign points justifiably after the fact, but okay. you get one point for winning the go first thing. Do I get more points for that for not winning? For losing? I remembered I was going to deduct points, but I remembered we couldn't go below zero, but I'm still feeling it. So you're on thin ice, mister. Take that, Bob. I'm going to give you a point. I'm taking it away. There we go. Wow. So does that mean I win? No, you had zero. This episode of Distractable is brought to you by Grubhub. Grubhub is serving restaurants. They love restaurants. We love restaurants. I love restaurants. Bob loves restaurants. Wade, I love food. Are you saying that Grubhub is physically bringing the entire restaurant that I order right to my door and then like I get to eat on my front lawn or something? I cannot legally say that uh, Grubhub is disassembling the restaurant then rebuilding it outside of your house and then uh, rehiring the staff that they had to lay off at the restaurant and then bring them back so that they're located in the street outside of your house and then getting the food in your door all in the time span between you ordering it and you barely remembering that you ordered it. As long as you can't say that, I guess we're on the same page. Yeah, I cannot say that. I mean, if that was what they were doing, it would be incredibly fast because oh, yeah. they get that stuff to my door in like 20 minutes sometimes, sometimes less, like sometimes faster than I could physically have gone to the store and gotten it myself. And I'm not sure how that works. Well, you know, I can legally say that Grubhub is working hard to serve restaurants because Grubhub guarantees your food will get to you on time within the delivery window for the lowest price compared to other apps. And you'll get back at least $5 in perks. That way you can experience your food just like the restaurant intended. You can order through the Grubhub app or online. Grubhub. We serve restaurants. This episode of Distractable is also brought to you by Upstart. All right. Student loans, guys. No. Debt. Uh, mortgage payments. Uh, car loans. Uh, Debt can feel crippling. It's awful. It hurts. I paid off my student loans a little bit ago, but I do remember having car loan, mortgage payment, student loans all at once. It was not fun. Is that possible? You paid some off? I don't know what that means. That means I was very fortunate to have, like, lots of scholarships. <laughs> Can't imagine what that must feel like. I didn't have graduate school loans or uh, law school or all the other stuff. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Just call me out. Look, I need Upstart, okay? Law school was expensive, <laughs> but Upstart has my back. Upstart is the fast, easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan, and it's all online. Exactly, and it's not crazy when you think about it. Credit cards have high interest debt. There's many other types of debt that are high interest. You can consolidate all of those by getting a lower interest personal loan and then paying off those high interest debts. In the long run, it will save you a lot of money. Find out how Upstart can help lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash distractible. That's upstart, U-P-S-T-A-R-T dot com slash D-I-S-T-R-A-C-T-I-B-L-E. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com 
slash distractible. Go ahead, Bob. Okay. So my goal, this is me. This is my life. Mm -hmm. My goal is to secure a best friend for the rest of my life. Okay. I have no friends right now. I have nobody. Oh. I have no family. I'm alone. I need by any means necessary to secure a best friend so that I have someone to spend time with and I have someone to, you know, pick up beer on their way over to watch the football game or something. I don't know. Whatever friends okay. do. I don't have any, so I don't know. Clearly, given my current situation, I'm not good at making people like me using my personality, my wits, my words, my original sentences. Something has gone amiss. I don't know if I'm just, you know, my mind works differently. Who knows? But I have a scheme. I have a way through which I can secure a friend for life, and they couldn't leave me if they wanted to. Step one. I need to use my wealth of resources. I'm rich, by the way, because I have no friends or anyone. I've focused on my career and I've become very successful. I use my wealth of Batman-like resources. I buy an expensive, fast car. Ooh. Super cool looking. It turns a lot of heads. It attracts a lot of attention. I buy, along with the car, an elaborate pre-planned system of plastic tubing, valves, T-joints, the sprinkler heads that aerosolize liquid as they pass through them and a huge reservoir in which I'm going to put five gallons of pig's blood. Oh, I have no questions. I have none. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm -hmm. You with me? I have one question. Okay, go ahead. Why specifically pig over like cow? It's illegal to buy human's blood. Okay. Is it? I didn't know that. Is if, it actually? Well, okay, I'm wealthy. I'm Batman. You know what? Screw it. Wait, you're actually Batman? Well, I'm Batman-esque. I'm not trained like Batman, but I'm rich like Bruce Wayne. Can you buy human blood? I get my own blood. I get my own blood. Over the. I, this is an extended plan now. You can buy human blood? Oh, that's concerning. You can actually buy human blood. I don't like that. Is it like when you buy uh, allergy medicine, you have to give an ID because you only buy so much per month or something? <laughs> 